Hi. So we are the calendar guys. <laughs> so this year particularly has been quite a successful year for calendar because we really up to notch, we rewrote the entire calendar. We finally finished the rewrite of the calendar. And it's, I think, a pretty stable rewrite. Um, we have issues which have dropped from the original repository. And yeah, a lot of people have started to contribute to it as well. And it's, we, uh, we have a bunch of features which I think Georg will tell you more about. The design part, it's pretty awesome. It's more seamless. It's more, more very much close to files so that the user experience throughout the own cloud stays in, uh, pretty consistent with each other. We use things like the sidebars and everything, which files also use. And yeah, there's nothing new. It all looks like Nextcloud. So yes, um, compared to the old app, we use new technologies. So we rely mostly on JavaScript and Angular, while the old app was mostly written in PHP. You can also see this in this comparison. So GitHub also always shows you um, what languages you use in your repository. So on the left side, we have the old repository with like mostly PHP code. And well, that PHP code was not the best one. On the right side, we have mostly JavaScript. So now you see that most of the app is running in your browser, and it's not so many server side anymore. So yes, there are various um, benefits of the old app. One of the biggest one is performance. It's much faster. Previously, um, like previously, we generated a lot of dialogues on the server, so it meant that your client had to send a request to the server. There, the dialogue was um, built with the in and with the values, and then it was returned to your browser. And now we build all the dialogues in JavaScript, which is obviously much faster. We also have like public sharing coming up. We have web call. We have support for attendees and alerts. We have a higher code quality. And also weak numbers and a better user experience. Yes, about web call. Um, web call is a feature, so you can like include ICS files from the web in your private calendar. So you can see in this screenshot, I'm including my Facebook calendar, so you, I can see that the Nextcloud conference is going on right now. And I can also, I also included um, the web call feed of the local hackerspace, so there was an IPv6 talk at the beginning of the month, for example. And we just merged this branch two days ago, so I'm very happy to announce that this feature will be released this weekend in version 1.4. And the next big thing that's coming up is calendar publishing or public sharing. That was implemented by TCIT World. I'm afraid he's not here, but please give it up. I'm pretty sure he will watch the video. Yes, this basically allows you to share calendars publicly and to people see a similar view so they can sh um, look at it in the browser or they can also subscribe to it in a web call client or ordinary calendar clients. Yes, finally I want to show a quick roadmap what's coming up. So in right now we try to release a new version every month. So next month we aim to implement search and undo actions. Afterwards we want an advanced editor for repeating events. In 1.7, we finally want to display events alarms, so you actually get an alert when an event is coming up soon. In 1.8, we are planning free busy support, so when you schedule an event and you invite other attendees, you can see when they are free. And yes, in 1.9, there are no bigger features yet, but you are very welcome to send us feature requests and we will consider them. So yes, we are nextcloud-calendar or IRC. You can find both of us there. Our names are our IRC nicks. And yeah, that's pretty much it.